Hello everybody and welcome to Bourbon Adventures. Happy Wednesday. Today we're doing a review of Still Austin Cast Strength Bourbon Whiskey out of Texas. Austin, Texas that is. This bottle is a cast strength and it comes in at I believe 118 proof. It's aged at least two years. Where is the proof on this? <laughs> Oh, it's right there. Yep, 118 proof. This bottle right here, actually, I have not opened yet, so we're going to open it today and uh, do the review. <clears throat> I've only had this one other time, and it was a few months ago, and it was just a taste, so I don't remember a whole lot of it. On their website, they say they you get cherry, muddled mint, and cinnamon toast on the nose, and peaches, butterscotch on the palate with a little rye spice and nutmeg to finish it off. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had it, so I don't really remember exactly. So we're going to try this today if I can get it open. And still Austin in the Michigan area, this, uh, just became available just a few months ago. Um, for a while, we couldn't find it up here. Now we're doing the neck pour, so maybe it'll be a little different. Maybe not. Okay, why is that cork not going back in? Hmm. Try that again later. All right, let's see what the nose has for us. Definitely, you can definitely get the cherry on there. I don't get much cinnamon right off the right off the bat, but definitely cherry. A little bit of the mint. I get they say mint. I don't really get a lot of it. Maybe just a very small amount. I get a little oak. Now being only a two-year-old, so the story that I have heard from for Texas uh, whiskeys that are made in Texas because of the climate. A two year in Texas is equivalent to a four to six year in Kentucky because of the heat and everything. They do distill their own. This isn't sourced. This is uh, their, their very own juice and everything. So let's see, stillaustin.com if you wanna check out the other ones that they have. This is the only Still Austin I have ever tried. So I have had one other Texas whiskey, and that is Balcones, which I don't know right here. The Brimstone. I wasn't a big fan of that. It's a little smoky, and I'm not a big, big smoke whiskey person. So, yeah, I definitely get the cherry. All right, let's see what she's got. Hmm. Definitely get the butterscotch. I don't get any cherry on the palate. Definitely butterscotch. Definitely got a rye in the back and the finish. I'll tell you, it's a lot better than the bell cones. <laughs> that I've had from Texas. So this has given Texas whiskey a little bit better, uh, better uh, reputation in my eyes because I was hesitant on buying this bottle. Uh, I believe this bottle rang, it's MSRP is $65 if I can, uh, if I can remember correctly. So it's not the cheapest bottle, but I mean, from what I've had so far, this is definitely worth $65. Yeah, that cherry note is right up front. It definitely, to me, it does not taste like, two, like a two-year-old. Yeah, that butterscotch. They do list pecan pie. I get a little bit of pecan. Brown sugar. 
Yeah, baking spices on the finish. A little nutmeg, clove, that kind of stuff. Well, it's spicy. I think it drinks, it drinks its proof, which I'm a proof guy, so I like this. Very good, very good. I gotta see if I can get this cork back in. Otherwise, I might have to drink this whole bottle tonight. There it goes. Damn, that's a little hard getting in there. So I hope everyone uh, likes these review videos. I haven't done a review in maybe a month or so. Um, but if you want, check out the review playlist. I think I have a few that you might be enjoy watching or anything. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I put out new videos. Share the video so we can help grow this channel and I can do more reviews. I am planning a bourbon hunt here within the next week. I don't know when that video will be released, but my plan is to do a bourbon hunt down around the Kalamazoo area. There's a few stores down there that I've never been to. I think I've only been to one store actually in Kalamazoo and that was just on my way through a couple years ago. And so hopefully we can find some good, uh, good bottles that I can do some reviews or some blinds. I'd like to do another blind. Um, so with that being said, everybody, remember it's not about the whiskey. It's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you.